In this video, I want to talk about creating uh, separate views uh, for the selected or any selected rebars. Uh, now, we know that these 3D modeling programs are all about creating a good 3D model and then importing those model um, viewports into the drawing and then basically doing your dimensioning and your annotating and creating your material lists and all. Now, it's very common in uh, reinforced concrete, for example. Uh, so we have, um, let's say, a beam over here, and we have the, uh, this is a bar, and it's going somewhere till up till here, and then there's another bar after that, uh, from here over, over here somewhere. And you can see they're, they're, they're kind of overlapping, but if you don't see that, it's very difficult to see that there are actually two bars over here. And that's the way you usually model. You don't model them like a little above or a little below. So it can get difficult to uh, see that there are actually three bars, one from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. And obviously, if I do the annotation, I can do that, and you will see the three bars separately. But it is very common practice to show this beam like that and then actually open up these three bars separately right below the beam, a, a little staggered from each other. So in one quick glance, you can uh, you, you can see exactly what's uh, what's happening. Now to do that, there's a very nice um, command in Comosis, and what all you do is basically you go and you select the the rebars. So you zoom in, you press Control, and you select the second one, and then you zoom in and you press the th you select the third one as well. So now I've got the three bars selected, and as um, after selecting them, I go to this under the Tools menu this little button over here called Reinforcement Detail. What it does is it will create a separate view from those selected rebars. And the moment I press it, uh, immediately you see this, this separate view created on, uh, on the side. And you, you can double click it and you can fit it. And you can give it a rotation if you want, if it's not aligned with, um, uh, with your, uh, and you can fit it again to uh, take it in the other direction. And then if you zoom in, and I, I can bring it right under, uh, this one over here and now you can see that those three bars are shown here with a little stagger uh, So I mean they're not shown in their exact modeling uh, Positions because if they were shown in the exact modeling positions as they are over here they, We would once again basically see one continuous line, but you see there's a little stagger and the stagger will come back after a while as well It, it can go one up two up and then back so it won't just keep going up uh, and the um, we have this option actually over here as well. Uh, in every view, what we can do is, so uh, if I were to double click on this view uh, and go to the detailing uh, tab, you have this option of calculate rebar staggers. And if I were to turn it off, for example, and say apply, you will see that the, the rebar actually is now brought, the rebars are brought back to the original modeling, uh, the way they've been modeled in, uh, in the 3D model. But if I were to double click on the view and say, uh, go to the detailing tab and say, calculate the rebar stagger, then it, it, it gives it a rebar stagger. And this uh, you can control the distance between each one of them uh, by this parameter. This is in millimeters. And this one actually is a tolerance related parameter, which you can use most of the time uh, leave as it is. Uh, and once you've done that, what you can do is you can go to your dimensioning command, say, and go in there and uh, maybe give your uh, splice dimension over here. Uh, like that and that that'll be a very convenient way of now showing that you've got these three uh, rebars actually in this position and obviously you will have the numbers over here as well but you don't want to stagger it over there because uh, you don't want the rebars coming out of there uh, coming because uh, what can happen is that they could uh, they could come out of the, the form work if they are staggered in the original model and you don't want that so you want to have them separately the way I've shown and this is a very neat way of doing that now, in the previous example, uh, the, the bars are actually in the same plane. So let me go back over there. So the, the, bar, the, the bar was like this, and we, I, we opened it up in the same plane. Uh, but if we go to this example, which is from a slab, looking at the slab from the plan view, uh, we've got these bars, and they look like straight bars, uh, but actually they're going down from here. So if I were to go uh, to the model, return to the model, we will see that I was looking at this slab. And these bars are coming in and they're turning down uh, because of the embedment and similarly this one as well. But in the drawing, uh, we don't see them like that because we're looking at them from the plan view. So in these cases, sometimes, although they'll be drawn in the material lists uh, in the, uh, as a proper U-shaped bar, 
but sometimes it is it is also common practice to open up this bar just like we open up these bars next to the beam uh, we want to now open up this bar and uh, we want to um, basically uh, open it up in its own plane and we and if you go back to the tools menu and this was the command we used if i press the shift key and uh, open that you can see that we have this option of use rebar coordinates and if this one is selected then it will open up the bar not in the plan view but in in the bar's own coordinate system which is what we want so if i were to select this bar and say give me the reinforcement detail uh, it will create this view over here once again let me quickly change the uh, the direction of the view and then fit it and then now i have it in uh, exactly the way where i want it and i can bring it uh, over here and zoom into it and now that bar which was uh, number eight uh, is shown separately over here as well and now i can uh, do any dimensioning uh, of the bar if need be but it's going to show up in the material case anyway in the material list anyways so this is a neat feature in which you can open up now this is the same feature which is also used in column drawings for example so when you have a you have a long column going two or three stories so while you have the side view of the column showing your stirrups and the longitudinal reinforcement uh, at very and various splice points but right next to it we show this longitudinal uh, reinforcement separately as well with all the splices uh, in a staggered way just like just like we've staggered them over here in the beam as well so this um, now in those uh, in the beam and column um, drawings that that stuff is done automatically but if you were to create if you if you were creating your own manual drawings then you would find this uh, reinforcement detail feature uh, very handy to use